Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, first of all modal validation uh, in a web API tutorial. So here we have a model and just I want to add some validation at here. Uh, the first validation is to define the required validations. So here you can add the required field validator. So uh, just use uh, square brackets and in which you can add a required attribute and what is the meaning of the required i mean to say that title is required uh, there is a nominal value uh, in which you can add so just you can use control dot key of your keyboard and resolve the namespace error that is using system dot component model dot data notations so here we go so uh, using system dot component model dot data notations dot schema is there and there is the required attribute and if you want to uh, add some error message like uh, oops error message so uh, you can say that title field is required okay so this is the error message you have to display on it okay the next uh, thing is to uh, add uh, if you want to add uh, there is a display name that is the actual file URL and uh, here we have a file URL so you can use display property at here and also you can use uh, there is the length property minimum and maximum like uh, you can use oops uh, <clears throat> max length of the character is 200 uh, that is defined in the brackets error message and uh, here we have to 200 there is the length property in integer types so here you can see that uh, snippet tool tips that is maximum length is 200 length if you can define that only the two and you can just go that error message okay so uh, just after two and you can define also the error message just after that so you can just define this an error message is max length is 20 so this is the notations and what is the affected on your api so just you can use package manager console and you can add migration add add migration update category So just after that you have to add migration that is update category model and after that you have to use update database command and you got uh, there is the type of uh, some error messages if you have any uh, uh, if you have any uh, values in the database column. So there is uh, there we have uh, to run your uh, application first of all and see the error messages update category model is the navigation and in the category controller just I want to post the data uh, data in the UI so just open first of all postman and here you can see that there is a 7049 is the name uh, there's the port number okay that is the category and just I want to add uh, some just I want to post some data in the category so the URL is the add API slash category and just I want to add uh, in the body tag here we have a form data and the title is kitchen and the ID is mm, uh, automatically added so the title if it is null if you can take the null and the picture is just to select this file in the pictures and here we go and just click on the send buttons and here you, here you go that types of error message title field is required and the status message is 400 bad request and also if you set that type of title like uh, capsule okay so just click on the send button and problem will be resolved easily 
because your title is okay so the status message is done so you can see that uh, model validation model validation in asp.net core so here we have uh, some uh, data related to learn model validation in asp.net core that is microsoft.com and here we have some error messages uh, validation attribute like uh, required field validator strength string length and the data type is also defined display property and there is lost of uh, lots of things like range validator 0 to 999 so these are the model validations so this is the model validation you can do uh, within your api so also mentioned it in in your web api now come to the real time projects that is first of all add three uh, model in the application and the project is first of all stop debugging and you have to add three models in the application that is book book writer and the book cover you know that a book uh, so first of all about a book writer class a book writer have a required field validator that is name gender image url and image file iphone file and the image url you can see that a book writer have write multiple books so the relation between the books and the book writer is the one to many mapping one to many and also a book writer have multiple book covers so i mean to say that uh, that is the book cover a uh, suppose a writer write uh, asp.net code uh, this books and uh, the book cover is related to your uh, writers uh, of your asp.net code 6.0 that is the cover and 5.0 that is the cover so asp.net core is a book but the cover is related to your category like 6.0 5.0 so a book writer have a right multiple books as well as book covers and a book cover have uh, you can say that inside the book cover have multiple books so there is book actually hold book cover id as well as the book writer id and the book uh, book cover also have an id property that is book writer id so uh, also define that inside in application db context file first of all comment this code model on model creating and also make comment this and after that you have to make three context things inside it here like book so here you can say that books book writer book writers and book cover okay so finally you have to add your uh, three files in your application db context now just go for uh, your uh, migration so first of all remove the migration folder from here so uh, before removing migrations so first of all remove uh, old database so initiate the command that is drop database and what is the logic behind this because build failed so just use build zero succeeded one failed application db context just not it okay uh, there is the category so first of all application db context and make some changes at here okay and after that your uh, category controller is working because your application db context is there so make some uh, first of all comment all these codes from your category controller and also make some class as a type of comment okay now after that in the inside the application db context make comment the categories now just after that you have to say that build your applications one succeeded zero failed 
package manager console and drop database just go on dropping your database and after that uh, remove your migration folder from your uh, project this is the real time project uh, I would I will doing on the book and book cover and book writers so just use the package manager console and add migrations so add migration that is initial and after that you have to use update database so working fine so now after that this is done in asp.net core applications and i will do some uh, works on these uh, models that is book book writer and the book cover